Oh man, I'm getting so pumped for this fall level right now. Um, I mean, just because it's also fall in the real world. And I've, I've always been a big fan of the fall aesthetic. Um, because here in jolly old Texas, uh, uh, and I was trying to think of something funny to say, but jolly old Texas is about as awful good as I'm going to get. Um, we don't really have, like, real proper fall. Um, it's just kind of like, here's summer's butt. It's a little bit more humid and things smell weird. Um, we don't get the nice, like, oh, here's, like, you know, the, the leaves change to a nice reds and oranges. And the leaves don't fall as nicely. I mean, that could also just be where I live in Texas, maybe some more um, arboreal parts of Texas, maybe. <clears throat> uh, have uh, more leaf falling and color changing, but I've never really gotten that, like, super good fall experience. Um, so I've always been a big fan of the, the fall aesthetic. Um, I went to Seattle last year. Um, during, uh, actually, around this time of the year, it was um, just before Halloween um, uh, for an interview uh, with Amazon. Um, and I was just, like, blown away by, like, all the, the trees and the leaves and the colors. It was very nice, and I was super into it. Um, it was very funny, because, like, the entire time I was in Seattle, it, it drizzled a little bit on my, when I got there, um, and then it didn't, like, rain until I left, but when I left, it, like, poured, like, it was like, oh my god, like, I assume that, because Seattle's very rainy, that that was the norm, and I had just kind of been there for a dry spell. Um, it was very interesting. <clears throat> Sunshine's a very good game. I very much love Sunshine. I know a lot of people uh, hate on it. Um, I think recently it's come a bit more into vogue. Um, for a while, like, Sunshine was the big, like, oh, screw Sunshine, I hate the water pack. Um, but I really like Sunshine. It's not it's not perfect, um, obviously. Um, I don't think I don't think a lot of things are perfect. Um, like, I could, I could, I could, uh air some dirty laundry, some beef with, like, uh, Mario Galaxy, those darling perfect games, um, that, that I think, like, Sunshine has better controls and, uh, better move set for Mario, um, but, like, uh, Sunshine has, you know, it's a problem, it's fair share of, like, level design stuff, um, but I think Sunshine's a super solid game, and it gets a lot of heat that it absolutely does not deserve. Ooh, I've never been to Mexico in the fall. Uh, oh, I see what you mean. Leaves are annoying. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I was like, oh, shoot. I was, like, super interested. Like, does does uh, Mexico have a very interesting fall? But I get what you mean. Um, up and bye, Gobi. I guess you left. Um, oh. Uh, big, a big sunshine hater over here, I see. Um, <clears throat> no, that is very fair. Um, the GameCube was an interesting console. Uh, for uh, some like rushed projects on Nintendo's end, like look at Sunshine and look at um, uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker, Wind Waker is such a weird game. It has such a fine level of polish, but like so much like unfinishedness to it. It's so weird because the game itself very very polished and lots of like nice atmospheric stuff, and it, it hits on like a weird uh, feeling of going on like a magical adventure that I don't think Zelda hits on. Uh, quite, I mean, Zelda gets magical adventure right uh, pretty easily, but it gets that kind of like summer adventure feeling super, super good. Um, yeah, like the game just kind of falls apart though. It's like super polished in such a weird way, but and then it falls apart in such like, like it falls apart in a weird way where it's still like a very polished and good game, but like, yeah, the dungeons get weird. Um, I think the dungeons are like the dungeons that they have are, are fine, but. It's like, there's so little content, uh, especially like in the second half of the game. Like by the time you finish the second uh, dungeon, um, <clears throat> the uh, uh, forest haven, after you finish the forest haven, the game just kind of fall falls apart just a little bit. Because it's like, oh, you don't get a third dungeon, here's your third pearl. You go to the Tower of the Gods, which is very cool, neat level. Um, and it's just like, two more levels and you're done. And then you go pick up the thing. You gotta go pick up the thing and that takes a while. Yeah, sweep your leaves, Mumbo. I don't know. So it's, it was a weird era for Nintendo. A lot of... I mean, I say that, but that's like really like... Maybe just those two games? I don't know. Excuse me. Maybe there's a bunch of other games that kind of have that weird unfinished feeling to them. 
to me that I like like I always I feel so weird about Wind Waker because like whenever I think about it I'm like oh yeah you know the dungeons fall apart and the game kind of falls apart but when you play it it's like oh this game's so delightful and wonderful it's such a weird such a weird thing and I definitely forgot some uh, mumbo tokens but that'll be fine it'll all be fine <laughs> oh yeah <clears throat> I'm a big fan of that room just because I think it's neat but that room also is like what the hell am I supposed to do Oh man, I was trying to, I was trying to transform back, uh, but stay in Talon Trot, but uh, I couldn't remember the button combination to do that. Hopefully, me popping my knuckles did not just gross a bunch of people out, because um, I'm, uh, I'm a very poppy person with my, with my joints. Um, thanks to early onset arthritis, even though that's really only in my knees. Um, uh, but I have a lot of joints that pop, um, and I tend to do it without thinking, and then accidentally gross people out. And kind of them. Yeah, that's that's a very good point. Like, um, like once again, like I um, had had an old friend who I got in a big, big argument. Um, that actually ended in like some of our other friends telling us that we were both being very stupid and childish. Um, years ago, years, years ago, I was still in high school. Um, about about the Wii, because he's like, oh, the Wii is garbage, uh, and I was you know very pro Wii. Um, legalize Wii. <laughs> good joke. Good joke. Nice, nice, nice. Um, uh, but I was very pro Wii, and we got into an argument about that. And honestly, there's a lot of weird shit with the Wii. Um, I feel it's very, I, I feel it's good and solid. There's some weird shit with it though. <clears throat> but yes, it was nice to have finished games and stuff. Uh, it's one of the reasons why people probably remember Galaxy and uh, Galaxy 2 as being such solid, good games. Is you know they're actually done. There's a lot of good ideas and content there. Um, even though like you know, Galaxy 2 is literally like, oh, here's all our finished ideas or unfinished ideas and stuff that couldn't make it into Galaxy 1, made into a video game. Uh, how do you do this? I think you jump and you can like slide under these guys if you, when you talent trot. Um, I remember seeing that in speedrun years ago. <clears throat> Wait, they were making Pokemon Coliseum for the, for the N64, really? I did not know that, that's insane. Um, I've never heard about though. Oh, I almost fell off the hive. Um, I don't think there's anything in here during the fall. Um, yeah, Pokemon Coliseum is such a weird game. It's, I think it's a very solid game. It's very strange though. Um, <clears throat> it, it does have that kind of rushy feeling to it though. Oh, I didn't know. I never noticed that. It's been a while since I played it. Uh, I remember watching Chugga Connery's LP of it and being very interested in it because um. The game was very hard for me whenever it first came out. Uh, I was um, I was very lazy in terms of like training my Pokemon, so like having to like go and purify them made it very difficult for me. <clears throat> oh, that makes sense. A, a DD game or Institute DD game. How early did that game come out in GameCube's life cycle, though? Because I remember, God, I remember bringing that that game home from the store and me and my friend Andrew getting so excited to play it. Um, even though it was like a one-player game like we both went to the store together and I bought it from like my system and then we both like just sat down and like hit it off the controller um, and then I was upset because I wanted the um, I wanted the uh, 2003 so that was like two years into the uh, N64 or the, the GameCube cycle right the main rush was GameCube 2001? I thought it was two. No, GameCube can be 2001 because uh, Banjo Chewie was 2001. Uh, 2000. Mm, I did this last stream. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> you you guys will know uh, faster than I will. Um, if I had to guess though, the the N6, the GameCube I keep saying N64 was 2002. Um, maybe it was 2003 though. I'm not sure. Uh, why wouldn't the starters be in their 20s uh, for for that? Uh, I don't that the the logic behind it just uh, doesn't turn. Okay, so it is it is 2001 or 2002. Hmm. It's interesting that an N64 game or a game that was slated to be an N64 game would take two years to uh, I guess finish and port over to the GameCube. Maybe they did some spit polish on it and maybe it was a end of one that makes a lot of sense.
uh, <clears throat> maybe it took some time to port it over and then uh, actually like finish some stuff uh, to get it out in time for 03 and ooh I'm gonna definitely fall to my death here and I almost fell to my death uh, trying to uh, fix the camera let's go ahead and come over here and get the easy one that we can just flip flap for just hope my okay so I missed the nut but I didn't I didn't fall to my death but I missed the nut so did one half of what we need to let's go ahead and talent truck and come down here to get this last nut oh, I say last one like we don't have to go back for the other one well that is a good point maybe they did have to restart Let's go ahead and do this from this angle so I can see the uh, thing below it and make this be better. Yeah, because a lot of the, um... Oh man, I missed the nut again. Oh. Uh, a lot of the uh, Pokemon in that game are, are Gen 2 uh, Pokemon, I believe. Oh, yeah, 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 and uh, XD you have lower level Pokemon to start with. I get you. Um, hmm. That is interesting though that they yeah they start you off with higher level guys uh, in one and then kind of go back to I guess a more traditional format for the the sequel. Um, I actually never uh, played XD myself um, because I had a real hard time with Coliseum and I guess when XD came out um, I didn't have the money. Uh, er, <clears throat> when XD came out was a time when I didn't have a lot of money, so I was just like eh I won't pick it up because you know Coliseum was. Oh wait you didn't want I thought you wanted five. Uh, maybe he needs six. I know there's some in his house, so let's go ahead and I guess get some more. I thought five nuts would be enough for you, Nab Nut, but ooh, you need more. <clears throat> Hopefully, the six nut will will please you. Here, have a, have one more nut. Is that enough nuts? That is enough. You needed six. Yep, there's enough acorns. You're welcome. Uh, run into your thing while I do my jiggy jig. He's gonna push me out of the way. Always love whenever he kind of just shoves you just a little bit. Um, anytime that happens, whenever an NPC kind of just shoves you, like in a cutscene or something. Actually, just whenever an NPC shoves you in general, is always. It's either very, very annoying or like, oh, this is adorable. Um, we already went to the top room of the place, so we don't need to actually uh, ascend to the top of the area. Uh, I would have liked to have jumped on the, the flower um, and grabbed the... Let's go ahead and feed here just before I fall off the tree. Um, <clears throat> I would have liked to have grabbed the jiggy off the top of the flower um, before we left, but uh, I don't think we're in a good position to make the jump over there. We could... Uh, We could go back to the honey hive, because I think the beehive is the closest thing to the, um, to the flower. We might be able to make a jump in there. We'll soon be a big bird. You must have your sleep, though. And I'll just go ahead and go to sleep so I can go ahead and acquire the last of my notes. Well, I guess this isn't the last of my notes. Um, but the last notes I can see within my field of vision. I'm going to go ahead and pick up an uh, incidental worm. The incidental worm has been collected. Uh, oh yeah, the honey hive is close to the um, the flower. Uh, for, I was like, is the hive close to the flower? Because I could have sworn it was, and ultimately it was. Oh, I missed my fall completely. Um, <clears throat> uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave the jiggy there because I think you can pick up the jiggy for the. Um, uh, for the flower in spring, and if not, we can just always fly in here as a bee, um, and just kind of grab it. <laughs> There's not much more to say than we will grab it. Um, oh, I just noticed your thing about the... It's, it's, I love, I love when NPCs do the thing, and then you can edit the video, the NPCs doing the thing. And then you can make a YouTube compilation of, NPC pushes me, what the? And then get a million views. A million one hundred views, because I'm gonna make one called... Bear kills racist ice cube, and then that'll get all the vine views. Cause I this vine company, I hear they're doing hot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy them up, put all my put all my eggs in that basket. Do you guys remember Vine? 
Remember, remember Vine died? That was, that was the entire crux of my joke. Before I do this, actually... Three views, what a steal! Um, um, oh man, there were two things I wanted to do. I'm gonna go back to fall right now before I forget, because I know I'll forget. And I'm going to um, go see what happens if you try to visit Nabnut in the fall. Because I don't remember off the top of my head what happens if you try to visit Nabnut in the fall. Um, we're going to go back to the spring eventually. Um, and when we're in spring, we can just swing by. Because I think he just sits out there with his rock. Uh, yes, it's Legend of Banjo, Oracle of Seasons. Nice. Um, <coughs> I don't remember if there's just uh, still a rock in the way in the spring, but I don't remember the justification for you not being able to get into Nabnuts in the fall. Nabnut, not Nabnut, uh, Nati. I think I've been saying Nabnut accidentally. Why can't we enter your home in the fall? Let me find out. Oh, is he asleep in the fall? He must be asleep in the fall. No, wait, we can come in the fall. Why do I... Oh, I get it. I always come in the winter um, because there is a honeycomb in here that's only in the winter, I believe. That makes sense. Um... Okay, I just wanted to know. Um, yeah, sure. You know, why not? I never picked this up in the fall. Oh my good god, the camera did not like that. Um, the game also slowed down a little bit there. It was freaking out. That was very weird. Um... <clears throat> I just wanted to check my recording. Actually, did I have to drop any frames? I've dropped no frames. Man, I love my new internet. Um, much higher um, upload and uh, download speed than my old one. Uh, it can be just as spotty as my old internet, just because, you know, that's that's internet providers. It's always going to be spotty, regardless of how good a package you get. Um, but it's much better. Quake flashbacks. Um, I hope you mean, like... So, like, the uh, video game earthquake and not, in, like, those recent earthquakes that have been happening. Because, um, if so, I'm sorry for laughing. <coughs> um, but yes, we can only get Naughty's uh, honeycomb piece in the in the winter. And that's why we I normally tend to go in the winter. Can we get the Naughty's from this hole? Because I normally use the other hole now that I think about it. So, yeah, why don't I use this? Oh. I was like, why don't I use this hole? Because I thought I saw a hole in the water. I saw this and thought it was a hole. And I was like, why don't I use this hole? This is so much closer to Nati's home. Um, but the reason why is because it wasn't a hole in the, the water at all. It was uh, an optical illusion. Just me being a big dummy dum. <clears throat> uh, now let's hope we don't die, because if we die, this will be bad. Um, I should probably have collected more notes before we've done this, but we'll see. Uh, Okay, cool. I, I'm sorry, I saw that, and I, for some reason, was like, I was like, oh, you know, just referencing a video game, or just something like that, like, very funny, but then I was like, oh, wait, no, there's actual, like, earthquakes that happened recently that I thought were bad. Uh-oh. Might have just laughed at actual trauma, and that would have been very bad and not nice of me. Core, I don't usually get visitors in the winter. Right, here we go, our honeycomb. Uh, is there anything neat in this house in the winter other than the honeycomb? It's, it's a, some beef I have with, um, with, um, Clickhawk Wood, now that I think about it. It's weird how some things are always in that place, um, during that time of the year. Um, oh, I didn't get the, the, um, jiggy from the house in fall. I think it's closed in winter. Uh-oh. I might have to go back to fall regardless of... Uh, if we can acquire the um, <clears throat> the jiggy that's on top of this thing uh, in spring or not. Uh, uh, what were the words I was just saying? Uh, it's weird how some things in uh, Click Clock Wood are available throughout the year. Like, oh, this jiggy will always be in the top room of the, um, of the tree. Um, 24-7, regardless which season you are, you're in, it'll always be there. But then it's weird how some places, or some things, um, only appear in certain seasons. Like, it's not the weirdest thing, like, it's a very video game-ass thing to do, and it's not, like, particular. it's not, I guess, bad, it's just, 
I don't particularly like it. Um, oh, I love the the yeah, the honey, the honey hive that tells you that Mumble's on vacation. That's very cute. Um, you hairy fool. I don't know. I probably if, if if this were me, um, actually, how would I handle it? Now that I think about it, because it's interesting that some things are persi persistent throughout the year. And it makes sense that some things would only be there later in the year. Hmm. Actually, I don't think there is a an, a good answer one way or the other because the most convenient thing is just everything is available at all points of the year and it's just like maybe some are excuse me only accessible during that part of the year like uh for ex for example like Nazi's home like you can only get into Nazi's home uh you can get into it during any season other than summer um but you're likely not to enter his home during the uh the, the spring since he has his rock in the way um but the, uh, you know, the honeycomb is only there in the fall. Um, and it makes sense because, you know, getting there in the fall is difficult. And that's actually a challenge. And that's why they're giving you a honeycomb for uh, for completing this difficult challenge. I mean, difficult. Um, difficulty is relative. Um, <clears throat> uh, but that's probably what I would have done is maybe make everything always there for every season. But then that also doesn't make sense. Because, um, uh, you know, like the tree. There's, uh, in some seasons, there's eggs around the corner, uh, or around the ring of the tree. Sometimes there's feathers, and sometimes there's, uh, like, uh, notes. Uh, and if they were there for every season, then there'd just be a ton of crap surrounding the tree at all times. And it's my... Oh, my monitors are a little dusty. Um, the sun's, uh, beaming on it. I was able to see the dust, and I was like, ah, uh, is my screen okay? But yeah, it's just a little dusty. Um, so I don't know. I don't think there's a... 100% like right answer to that like oh it should either be this or that and not, not both um, I think as it is is fine um, it is a little weird though like oh um, or I guess it's just it, it encourages you you should be checking every single place in every single season um, and not just going like oh I've seen the inside of Nati's home in one season I don't need to see it in this next season <coughs> yeah it's not bad I was just um, I have a... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a Dark Yonk 64 level. That is incre... I missed my shot. Um, it's very incredibly fair. Um, Dark Yonk 64 is just a mess. This is fine. Um, I have a bad habit of, um... With game design, with anything, of just taking it and thinking about it too hard and boiling it down so very far that it just becomes, like... I start getting a little existential about it. Like, um... For example, um, just dumb little things like like uh, toys. Whenever I think about them, like like an amiibo or something, like oh, I don't need amiibo to survive, so why do I? Why would I even purchase them? I mean, I purchase them because they make me happy, but they're just they're just objects. I don't need every video game is awful. That is what I was trying to get at. Thank you for for making my thesis statement for me. Thank you. Video games are terrible and dumb, and only idiots like me like them. Um, but I don't know, I just have a bad habit of just boiling things down till, till where it gets like super existential. Like, I mentioned that with amiibos, but I would do that as a kid. Like, oh, I don't need, you know, uh, this Pikachu toy. Um, I don't know. It's just a bad, weird thing that I do with my brain. Bad brain stuff, as it were. And that, uh, that stupid snowman, uh, I wonder what those snowmen's names are, because they have a funny name, I don't remember it. You are a very smart person to be amoeboless. It's a disease. Once you, s the amiibo, Nintendo should definitely partner with um, uh, Pringle. That's that's what they are, the Pringle chips, because the once you pop, you just don't stop. I feels more true of amiibo than it is Pringles, because Pringles have that. Like I had a Pringle last year. Um, like, after not having them for years, I'm like, oh, Pringles, I love those as a kid. They're weird, greasy, and bad. Like, those are some bad quality potato chips. Um, I mean, I'm also not a big potato chip person, so that uh, that probably assisted in that opinion. Oh, I missed that shot. Um, I, call it a, I call it a bad game um, because every video game is bad, uh, going back to that one, or because of some, like, weird collectionist thing, because... Uh, Oh, that was very neat how it threw me back. Um, uh, 
Just the, the two complete Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts would be a nightmare, because I imagine it has a bunch of um, car parts or whatever. Oh, why, my control did a weird thing. I too think we should destroy all video games. Video games are a plague. We should all go back to card games. Um, and not like the fun ones like Yu-Gi-Oh! Like we should all play like Old Maid. Just exclusively Old Maid. No, you think you think Old Maid's a bit much? Rocks and sticks, that's perfect. Uh, rocks and sticks, a little too advanced. Humans shouldn't use tools. It should all be all like if you want to entertain yourself, you gotta make sh not shadow puppets. Shadow puppets is utilizing the sun, our greatest foe's energy. Um, and we don't wanna we don't wanna associate with the sun. And man, my controller is really um That was actually just it being slippery. I didn't mean to blame that on my controller, but I'm using control issues over here. Um, I'm also running out of feathers, which is gonna be wonderful when we try to fight Grunty. Um, I suppose we will probably have enough notes to refill our, uh, our feather count, though. Oh, yeah, movement. Psh. We have to utilize food to give us the calories to, like, have the energy to move. Let's just all lay down and fucking die. That's perfect. <laughs> Zero Kelvin everywhere. Yeah, hell yes. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Amiibo, Amiibo, like, sate, like, such a weird craving for me. Because, like, when I was a kid, I was always so, like, disappointed that I didn't have, like, toys of all my, like, video, favorite, I almost said fitty video game, favorite video game, like, stuff. Because it was like, I don't want to, I want to, you know, Super Mario action figure. But, like, stuff like that was, like, weird to find in the 90s. Like, oh, I want a Legend of Zelda toy. And there were, like, Majora's Mask toys, I remember saying about it. I, uh, it's not going to time once that I think about it. Um, never had the money to afford them. Uh, I had, like, a Banjo-Kazooie plush when I was a kid. Uh, but I always wanted, like, video game toys, so, like, Amiibo sate, like, such a weird, like, childlike, uh, desire for me. Um, like, of, I can have, I can have a, um, Shovel Knight. You know, that, that guy I loved as a kid. Um, sit on my shelf. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I also, I like collecting dumb stuff like that, I guess, so... It's it's Pokemon, I swear. Like you play Pokemon as a kid, and it's it's just it's a disease, man. <clears throat> yeah, I meant I should have gotten the uh, the jiggy for this house during the um during the fall. Um, stupid winter grublin had hit me while I wasn't paying attention. Um, uh, yeah, the Pokemon it sinks it sank its like collectors like completionist like desires into you as a child, and then it's like oh I gotta have everything of everything at all times. Um, I've always played Pokemon, just catching the ones I want. Um, it wasn't until last year with Sun and Moon that I bothered to uh, complete a Pokedex, like uh, by catching them all. Um, oh yeah, I always forget that Namnut gets a little pink friend, a little pink uh, girl, assumedly a Goyle friend, but we don't know. We don't know the gender of that of, of either squirrel. I don't think uh, Namnut probably genders themselves. Um, I refuse to gender them because I don't know their gender, so. And that that's probably a boy. And the pink one's probably a girl. It's a there's a video game made by Rare in the, the 1990s. It's probably safe to say the cartoon pink squirrel is a girl. Um, I just see the word Apache helicopter and um, we're probably well, no, we, we won't take that much damage. Whatever, it's fine. It's all good in the hood. Um, I saw the words Apache helicopter and I was like, what the fuck could have possibly happened? <laughs> um, Oh, you played through all of- oh. Um, I have a friend who, um, played through all of Nuts and Bolts, and he actively recommends against playing it. Um, if I- if there was ever a PC version of Nuts and Bolts, I- hand over my heart, I would do a- a full playthrough of- of Nuts and Bolts, at least getting through to the end. I don't know if I would finish the game, and I don't want to waste my feathers, so I'm just gonna walk. Um, but I promise, if there was ever a very convenient way for me to let's play that game, I would. Um, I mean, granted, I could just buy a capture card, some capture device of some sort, uh, and do it, but 
I've decided that I'm never going to purchase a capture device, as it would seem. I've made it this far, and will continue to make it farther without it. Um, capture car. Beep, beep, it's the capture card. Car. I said card accidentally. My bad. Um, I missed that jump, and I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to die. Um, you know what? Since we're down here anyways, and I don't seem to be uh, against uh, doing it, um, let's go ahead and just pop into Mumbo's house and, and kill the, uh, the, the beehive uh, for some health. <coughs> and then kill the racist ice cubes as well for some extra health. Oh, is Xenia the, um, the 360 emulator? Because I, I was looking into, actually, when I was... Uh, Getting the simulation up and running. I was considering trying out the um, the 360 versions of the Banjo Kazooie uh, for this for this stream, but couldn't. Um, well, I was about to say couldn't get it to work, but by that I mean didn't bother. I looked at it, deemed it too difficult, and then went back to try messing with N64s uh, stuff. Uh, but yes, uh, if I guess if we ever get a, a decent emulation of of nuts and bolts, or Microsoft gets their head out of their ass and puts the Rare Replay, um, which I think Nuts and Bolts is on, <clears throat> on PC, um, no, totally, 100%, we'll do Nuts and Bolts, and this will be a mostly blind playthrough for me, because I, I played, um, a little bit of it, oh, damn, I, that's exactly where I slipped last time, maybe I should be doing Talon Trout instead of, um, oh, hey, I didn't take any damage, um, instead of doing the Feathery Flap, because maybe the traction at this point will be more useful to me than the, um, uh, jump assist. Um, uh, but when Nuts and Bolts came out, I played a, a very little amount of it. I made it to the first level. Is the first level uh, Banjo World, or is the first level Nutty Acres, or something like that? I don't remember which one you go to first. Because um, I never made it to the second one. I just know the, the game by uh, its soundtrack, because it has a very good soundtrack. Um, <clears throat> oops, I need to jump. No, scratch my nose. Um, I made it to the first level, I made some progress, and then just decided I hated everything I was doing, and, uh, and, uh, returned the game. And then eventually I, I sold my 360 because I was in college and could use the... How much money did I get for it? I, I, I was gonna say 50, but I don't, I don't think it was, I even got 50 for it. I'm not 100% sure how much I got for it while I was in college. Um... Oh yeah, I need to hold down for this. I'm an idiot. Um, I don't know why. So, actually, so why was I so harsh on myself for not holding down A? Oops, I forgot how the jump shock spring, the shock spring jump pad worked. Uh, what a what a what a crime. <clears throat> how far did we get up here before I fell? Uh, we made it. Uh, I'm just gonna fly. Screw this. this 